There are only a few uh, modern teachers that have uh, clear iconography that can be identified. And by modern times, I really mean like the last 100, uh, 200 years. So one that, that, that we, can, we can recognize is uh, Dzongsar Kense, the original Dzongsar Kense, uh, Jemyun Kense Wongpo. He often appears in paintings of, of Eastern Tibet, and he has a very particular uh, look and uh, or, or, or posture. And uh, he is most often represented as a secondary figure in lineages and in uh, other such compositions. Now, how does he appear? He appears with a red pandita hat, uh, uh, monk's clothing, monk's attire, and seated with the with the legs folded under a meditation cloak. Now, the right hand is extended, holding a vajra across the knee, and the left hand holds a vajra bell, a vajra handled bell upturned in the lap. Now, also in both hands, he's holding the stem of a flower blossom, a lotus, and one lotus extending up next to the right shoulder holds a vase, a long life vase, and on the top of the flower blossom of the left shoulder is uh, a sword and book, which is uh, reminiscent of Manjushri and representing uh, learning, education, and uh, explication. So th this is the main form that we see. Now, now the red pandita hat, of course, is, is um, common to uh, uh, Sakya uh, Kagyu Nyingma, Jonam, and uh, and then the attributes are actually doubling up. We we, we really don't see this doubling of, of, of so many attributes until the last uh, 100, 200 years, where you are including the Vajran bell, the sword and book, and then a vase. So this is kind of a new thing, so it's also something that's recognizable in late uh, sculpture and painting. Now, Jemyun Kensi Wongpo can also be represented as a Mahasiddha because uh, there was a guru yoga practice that was created uh, which included Kensi Wongpo, uh, Kongtro, uh, Shalu Tenkyong, and others. And so we have uh, different representations, but the Mahasiddha appearance cannot easily be, be recognized unless there are inscriptions or you recognize it through context with the other Siddhas who are surrounding for this special uh, Guru Yoga practice. Uh, so the main point here is that uh, Kensu Wongpo has one hand extended, one in the lap, holding a Vajran bell, along with the attributes of a vase over the right shoulder and a sword and book over the left shoulder.